The Burl Oak Theater Group has been bringing community to community theater since 1977. We try to make sure that the experience of being a part of it, whether you're on stage or behind the scenes um, or volunteering for a night is, is welcoming and that everybody wants to come back uh, to, to be a part of the next thing because it's just, it's a nice family to be a part of. We're in an executive meeting and we're trying to decide on what our comeback show is and there was a bunch of ideas on the table and we couldn't decide. And then we actually moved over to our next topic, which was our financials. And we didn't know how we were gonna pay our rent and we're like, we have a show. It's a show that's timeless. It's a show that kind of really speaks volumes and the themes really resonate right now. Themes of love, loss and community. And this show is hugely about connection and how each of them are supporting each other and really making each other understand that there's life to be lived as long as you get out there and just find that community of people to be with. So. Helping to pay that missing rent for their studio space, they received a grant from the Ontario Trillium Foundation Community Building Fund. When the pandemic hit, we had zero revenue coming in. Our first thing that we did during the pandemic was a virtual season, which we made free. And we were lucky to get some donations from our supporters, our members, our past ticket buyers, um, but not enough to cover, you know, almost, well, now over two years of being without shows and bringing in ticket dollars. So when we saw that, we applied and got it. And it's really helped us kind of allow us to get back up on our feet and do a show and maintain the space where I know not a lot of groups have been able to do. Rehearsals were unlike any show they've put on before, starting virtual vocal and dance rehearsals in January and conscious of performers' varying comfort levels. We had an online singing, like a musical assistant, mm -hmm. and so she did, was working with people on harmonies. And last night at our dress rehearsal, she was there and somebody was like, oh, it's so nice to meet you. <laughs> but, you know, but it's been since January, but it was the first time they met face to face. After months in the making, being able to come together to perform is priceless. It's been pretty magical, actually. Being back on stage, full stage, with a pit band and a crew and, you know, lighting design and projections and a full set. It's, yeah, it's been really, really amazing. But what are they most excited for this evening as the show opens at the Oakville Center for the Performing Arts? Seeing people in those seats. It's been a long time since we've seen audiences and we say in the theater, if we're, we don't have an audience, we're only rehearsing. So this is an opportunity for us to feel that space and I know it's gonna be electric. And it's the perfect musical to kind of bring ourselves back with, just a big rock opera that's gonna knock people's socks off. So. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.